Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up my little electric emerger. This uh, fly here has uh, got a nice bright underbody. It's very attractive. I'm tying this one in a bright green or kind of a limey green color. Uh, it's a very nice attractor color. We can go to light, uh, nice subtle colors as well as tans, blacks, whatever you wish. But uh, this is a pretty good attractor and uh, a lot of the streams or lakes you want to go to, it'll work uh, in many, many different waters. So let's go over the materials. I'm going to be using a, a continuous curve hook. I'm using a C12 uh, Gamagatsu here, size 12. You can go to 14s on this fly too. And uh, for the tail and the legs, I'm going to use some uh, partridge hackle off the skin. The um, body, we're going to use some this is kind of a lime green ostrich. This is the finer uh, barbels on this one. That's what you want, the smaller barbels. The wing, we're going to be using some, this is clear uh, crystal flash, the midge flash. It's very small. And the legs on the side again, the uh, partridge for the legs. The uh, thorax, I'm going to use some uh, peacock curl, one strand of that. And um, also, what do we need? The floaties to make it uh, behave right where we're going. We want some of these floating styrofoam balls. And we use a spawn net. This is what the steelhead and salmon anglers are putting their row in and so forth. So that works good on some flies. I've done the old booby style, started with that and, and so forth. So here's a really nice little fly. Let's get to tie it on the bench. Have a look. Oh yes, and uh, another one of the ingredients you want is pearl or opal uh, flash uh, tinsel in the bottom. And that's what gives it, why well, I call it the electric emerger. It's got a really nice underbody, very attractive. Sometimes we need to give them something weird to look at or something really different. Here it is. You don't want to go too big or too gaudy. This is still got a little bit of that bug, buggy appearance in it still. So we'll tie our envelope, our little foam bead, our star foam bead inside the, the netting and it ties really nice and slender down here. I'll get a couple turns the front, a couple around the bottom. It'll move around a little bit, that's okay. You can put some cement on there but I wouldn't bother with it. It's just basically going to keep it up where we want it in the in the water column. This is going to fish just below the film. You'll see just that little bit of that foam sticking out. So now we'll come in with um, partridge. We got a little. Some of these tips here aren't. They're a little too fuzzy. I want some nice straight tips. For the tail. Pinch off a few from the side here, make sure the tips are lined up nice. Catch them in at the end here. There we go. Wrap the butts down. And I come to the rear here. We'll take one of our barbules off the ostrich. This is small, very thinner plumes. You want to check for that when you're doing these smaller flies. Then we'll go in with pearl uh, tinsel here, or mylar. Find the end of it. There we go. Bring out the camera and then everything goes wrong. You know where that goes. I'll just wrap that along the, the body. And I'm using some olive 8 odd thread. And it gives me under this pearl, it still gives me some of that olive coloration. So I'm just going to wrap the pearl over top. And you still see the olive underneath it quite well, but it's giving it that nice sheen. Go to the opal, you kind of lose that. It kind of covers that all up, it gets pretty bright. The pearl is probably the best, and you can go with Lots of different under, you know, colors underneath there too, reds or whatever you want. But I like uh, just kind of keep it natural. But it gives it quite a 
glimmer. So instead of doing a, a solid body on this fly, what I'm doing here is kind of going like my ultimate leech. I'm, I'm giving them some sparkle underneath the pattern to look at. And the way I'm doing this, I'm going to take some solar res and just coat that pearl flash right there. Okay. Make sure you put the lid on it. You don't want that spilling on your desk. And then I'm going to wind my uh, ostrich up more like a rib. It's going to be covering just part of the shank. You can see a lot of that pearl showing through it. Gives it a really nice gill effect. It looks really nice in the water. Tie that off right there. Hit that with my lamp. And we'll just cook that on. But see the body on that? It's really, really nice. I call it my electric emerger. Isn't that pretty cool? Now we'll uh, come over the top with a little midge flash. This is just the pearl or white, whatever. This is really nice for small flies. And that'll kind of That'll peek through the top of the pattern a little bit. I cut it quite short. It's an emerger, we don't want to get too long, but it'll just kind of peek through the bottom just a little bit. Now, I need um, some partridge for my legs. So we'll grab a partridge feather here. We'll get rid of the uh, fuzz on the bottom. On one side of the feather here, we line our tips up, grab that, pinch them off, and lay that on the sides. And we come on this side, same thing. And measure that up, lay it on the side. There we go. That's a nice fly from underneath. Looks really good, I think. And uh, then we'll just bring in a peacock curl. Catch it in behind the bead. I tip my fly up a little bit that way just so my bobbin don't fall off. I'll take a couple turns right here, behind. Then we're just going to kind of figure eight. That'll kind of fill in the void in the bottom. Come to the front. We tie it off right there. I'm going to whip finish it off before I cut anything. There we go. There it is. Electric emerger. That little creature right there will spook up a lot of fish for you. Let's give them something different. A lot of times they're eating them bright green uh, caddis on the bottom of that, and uh, that color still imprinted. It it looks looks really good in the water, nice and bright, but it's still that those that gill appearance with that ostrich curl really does a trick. So there it is. Hope that'll help you out a little bit, get you some nice fish in the boat, and uh, hope to catch you again real soon here on Sports Fishing on the Fly on the Bench. We appreciate you watching.